Hi, this is John with Computer Pro, and I hope everybody's having a good Thursday afternoon. You know, I really hate, uh, eventually here I'm going to come across a new product that I actually like, and I will promise that I will write a video review about it or do a video review about it, since everything I seem to be doing um, over the last couple of years has been mostly to warn people off of products. And unfortunately, this one I'm going to do this time, um, there's a company out, out there called uh, called Splash Data. I, I'll, some of you may have heard of it, some of you may have not. It's got all kinds of different products for your iPhones, Androids, Blackberries um, that you can use. Splash Money, Splash Travel, Splash ID. Now, <clears throat> the last one, the Splash ID, is the one that I use. And what the Splash ID is, it's bas basically a, a, a password service. You can you, you can get, uh, there's two different things, that, components to it, where there were, and that's what I wanted to talk about. There was a desktop component and a smartphone component, and I have an Android Samsung Galaxy 2, and what I wanted was, I wanted a program that I could put on my phone and on my desktop that would store all my passwords, because I have, between myself and some of my family members, I have uh, north of 200 passwords. And um, they expect me, my family, to keep track of them for them. I'm always called and asked. Um, so I did that. And the original products, were, which were in, which were the uh, 6.0, I believe, level, they were in the six version releases, were fine. They were they were Wi-Fi. You could do it over Wi-Fi, or you could do it. Um, well, or a, a manual plug-in, but uh, and it, it's a pretty decent program. I mean, it's got different categories. You can set up all your passwords. You can put your serial numbers in there. You can keep track of all that stuff, and it was great. And, and I really liked it. I mean, it worked what I wanted. It, it worked. I'm, I could sync it. I could sync to my phone my uh, all my changes back and forth between that and the desktop. And it was around thirty-five dollars. It was ten for the Android app, and, and no, it was tw it was thirty. It was ten for the Android app, and it was twenty-nine ninety-nine. For the desktop app. And at the time, it wasn't a bad deal. Now, here's what happened. About two months ago, uh, Splash did a major update. Splash Day did a major update on Splash ID. And they really didn't tell anyone. So, all of a sudden, one day it shows up on my phone, it's different. So, I upgrade to the new version. And, and actually, I didn't know about it because I had had some issues with Splash ID a number of months before. And I contacted Splash, and they had a uh, Offered me, they had asked me to beta test uh, their new version of Splash ID, which was going to sync into the cloud. And I did it, and it really it was too new. It was more of an alpha than a beta test, and it just wasn't working right. And I just worked around the issue I had, which was logging in um, to my password ID on the phone. Because Splash ID on your phone, uh, when you click on it, you have to enter a password to access the data. And I was having some issues with the interface on that, but there was a workaround. I finally figured out it was a little annoying, but I did it. So about two months ago, they came out with a new one. They upgraded it um, on, the, on the mobile. So I upgraded it on the desktop to try the new 30-day version. Now, this wasn't a beta or an RC. An RC is a release candidate. This was their version that they, they was not supposed to have any bugs on it. Downloaded it. I installed it could no longer access anything on uh, on the desktop um, or on the smartphone. What it was doing was saying there was an old password and that I needed to enter the old password first and then enter the new password. Um, but there was no old password. So I messed with it and messed with it. So basically I was completely locked out of all of everything. I contacted them. Um, I worked on it. Eventually they didn't really help me. Um, but I was able to figure out a workaround on my own. I was able to pull the splash data, at least get an archive file of my data, so I was able to retrieve everything. Um, now, that being said, I want to say something about support. I want to digress for a second. And that is, their support is okay. I mean, based on what you see today, I mean, you know, if you've read my other review of Time Warner, Time Warner is horrible. Um, there so many industries out there are really bad. Splash data, you can only contact them by email or you do a ticket online. Um, and they do, it does take them a day or so to respond, but they do respond in a relatively timely manner. And I don't know about their other products, but the problem here was they did not beta test this cloud properly, so what it was doing was it, it was syncing to your phone, it was syncing to the cloud, and it was syncing to the desktop altogether. And it completely locked me out. It took me hours and hours and hours to finally figure out how to get back to where I needed to be. 
So I finally go in and I decided, you know, with a new, I, I, they gave, then after all this, I finally got this accomplished over the last few weeks. After all this, I finally went in and I, I tried to use the cloud again once I had gotten my issue sorted out with the, with the login problems. Went in, was able to log in, though time after time after time, if I logged into the phone app, it would ask me for the old password and then the new password. Uh, I had them at this point, but it's still really annoying to have to put in two passwords to log into the interface. Um, the desktop application, um, I'm sorry, not the desktop, but the web application, which which is the soft, the web application, doesn't seem to sync really well even now. I mean, there's stuff on there that I see that I don't like anymore. Um, or, I ha or I've deleted off my phone or the desktop and it's still not working. So I thought I got these issues resolved. I, I actually ended up having to do it by switching my email address and getting the archive and making the archive work again. I kind of had to hack it, which I'm sure most of you don't know how to do. But in the end, I got it working. So I contacted Splash. They said they would do whatever was in their power to make things right. I said, you know, well, I was I really kind of wanted to buy the cloud service because I was kind of scared not having it on this phone might screw things up some more. So I contacted him and I said, you know, and I very rarely do this, but I said, you know, I feel like I deserve a little. You offered some, you know, we'll do. They said we'll do whatever it takes to make things right. So I said, well, what will you do for me to make this right? I mean, I spent a lot of my time, you know, I bill out at like 70, 80 bucks an hour, and uh, what do you do to make this right? Well, I got an email back today from technical support saying, well, we're going to extend your uh, cloud service. It's still on the trial version, which is going to end in about nine days. We're going to extend it for a month. Now, let me tell you what kind of compensation that is. If you buy their cloud service for a year on a yearly basis, it's $19.99. If you buy it on a monthly basis, it's a dollar ninety nine. It's one dollar and ninety nine cents. So basically what they did was offer me a one dollar and ninety nine cents in compensation. I mean it was such an insult, it so totally blew my mind. I you know they closed the ticket so I opened the ticket and responded. I said, look, just take it off right now. I am not going to do this with you guys. Obviously you can't afford anything and you've been really more than anything insulted me by this and just close the service down, I'm going to find something else. And I am. I am no longer going to deal with Splash ID. I don't like them. I think, I, I think it's very cheesy what they did. Um, their customer services on a scale of one to ten is probably about a six and a six and a half. Um, though in today's market, that's probably pretty darn good. But to offer me that after I spent all this time, and they did a premature release, and they admitted they prematurely released their uh, their data. Or their their uh, they, it was seven. They released a 7.0.1, and then they immediately had to come and release 7.0.2 to fix the problem that they that they had. So they didn't uh, beta test it properly. It was all on them. And I'm you know a service professional, and and I work on computers and networks all day long, and it's an insult. Anyway, uh, two thumbs down for Splash ID. Go look around for other stuff. Um, they're a pretty well-known company for what they do, but there's other things out there that are just as good. Anyway, hope you're having a good day. I'm out.